Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve multiplication and division one-step inequalities. Now, when it comes to these inequalities, they're just like solving one-step equations. We need to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself, by using the inverse or opposite operation. And remember, keep everything balanced. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. The difference between these inequalities and equations is equations have one solution. With these inequalities, we're going to have an infinite amount of solutions. You'll see what I mean by that as we go through our four examples. So let's jump into number one where we have 2y is less than 8. So we need to isolate that variable of y. We're multiplying it by 2, so the inverse or opposite would be to divide by 2. Let's divide that side by two, and those twos are going to cancel out and isolate the y. Now, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So our y is isolated. Bring down our inequality sign. Eight divided by two is four. So y is less than four. Anything less than four is going to be a solution for that inequality. So let's test something out. Let's take three. Three is less than four and see if that works. So two times three is less than eight. Well, two times three is six. Six is less than eight. So three is a solution along with anything else that's less than four. On to number two, where we have x divided by six is greater than or equal to four. So we are dividing by six. The opposite of that is to multiply by six. So let's multiply both sides by six. The sixes on the left are going to cancel out and isolate our x. Bring down our inequality sign and four times six is 24. So x is greater than or equal to 24. So anything greater or equal to 24 is going to be a solution. Let's try something out. Let's try 30 because 30 is greater than 24 and I know it's going to be compatible with that six to give us a nice easy division problem here. So we have 30 divided by six is five is greater than or equal to four, which is true. So 30 is a solution along with anything else that's greater than or equal to 24. On to number three, we have negative five is greater than z divided by seven. So we are dividing by seven. The opposite would be multiplying by seven. So let's multiply both sides by seven. Seven times negative five is going to be negative 35. And the sevens on the right cancel out and isolate our z. So negative 35 is greater than z. z has to be less than negative 35. So let's test something out that's less than negative 35 and is going to be compatible with this 7 so we can easily divide. So let me rewrite the inequality over to the side and we're going to plug in negative 42 for z. So we have negative 42 divided by seven. That's going to give us negative five is greater than negative six, which is true. Negative 42 is a solution for that inequality, along with anything else that's less than negative 35. So again, negative 35 is greater than Z. Lastly, number four, we have negative nine times r is less than or equal to negative 36. So we're multiplying r by negative nine. So we're going to need to divide both sides by negative nine. Now, when we divide or multiply both sides by a negative, we need to flip the inequality sign. So the negative nines on the left are going to cancel out and we have an isolated r we need to flip the inequality sign. Negative 36 divided by negative nine is going to give us a positive four. So R is greater than or equal to four. Now I go into more detail as far as why we need to flip the sign in another video. I'll drop that link down in the description. So let's test out a solution, something greater than or equal to four. 
Let's try 5. So we'll plug 5 in. Negative 9 times 5 is less than or equal to negative 36. So negative 9 times a positive 5 is negative 45. Negative 45 is less than or equal to negative 36. So that would be a solution, along with anything else that's greater than or equal to 4. So there you have it. There's how you solve multiplication and division one step inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.